dude, come on. You've been hung up on this girl for nearly a month already. Give it up. Hmm. I am not letting this go. She didn't deserve this treatment. What don't you understand, Marcel? Hmm. Would you let it go if it was someone you knew? Hmm. If it was someone I knew or closest to, then yeah, I would totally understand. <sighs> but Susan is just our classmate, nothing more. She's also our friend who needs us to be there for her. It ain't hard to show a little compassion towards her. <sighs> Since when was that girl our friend? I never acknowledged, nor was I asked about this. I don't feel like being her protector, Jeremy. <sighs> I don't need to run it by you that I consider her my friend, Marcel. She's my friend, and I'll protect her. If you can't handle it, then go home. All right. I see how it is. You get around a girl and you change, man. <sighs> totally understandable. See you when you decide to be your own man again. Bye. May I come in? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Yeah, sure, come on in. I don't mind. I could use the company. You looked like you were upset. Mind if I ask if everything's all right? Huh? <sighs> I feel like a nuisance. My mom and dad won't come to check on me. No one else besides the nurses and doctors come to talk to me. No one visits me. What about me? <laughs> Am I chopped liver? Hmm. <laughs> no, you aren't. I appreciate you coming by when you can and checking up on me. It's really sweet of you, Jeremy. Nah, it's nothing for you to appreciate me over. I just don't like seeing someone lonely. <sighs> <laughs> well, either way, I thank you for giving me your time and attention. But, um... Where's Marcel? Doesn't he usually accompany you? Don't worry about him. He's been acting strange lately. Maybe even slightly jealous. I don't know. Oh, does he think I'm stealing you away or something? Hmm. If he does, it's his own problem. I have other friends besides him out there and you're one of them. Wow! Oh, <laughs> how sweet of you to say, Jeremy. <laughs> There's that smile of yours, Susan. You look pretty when you smile. <laughs> Uh, you're such a cheeseball, Jeremy. It's shocking you don't have a girlfriend yet. <laughs> eh, not many girls like when a guy gets cheesy. It's like being dorky to them. I like it, honestly. It makes you <laughs> adorable, not dorky at all in my opinion. <laughs> Sadly, it looks like it's about time for me to go. I'll let Mr. Peterson know you're making a speedy recovery. I still have to make up for the field trip. <laughs> Nah, you're still cleared from it. He just asks you to watch Phantom of the Opera while here, and you'll get your grade. <laughs> I'll be sure to watch it and write a paper summary as proof. <laughs> Works for me. All right, I'll be back later. You get some rest till then. Okay. I will, Jeremy. See you later. <laughs> Well, no wonder it's so quiet in here this morning. Are you two having a disagreement today? <laughs> nah, I just understand my place and I'm taking steps to make sure I don't deal with it again, Mr. Peterson. He's mad because I was spending time with Susan this morning, who's recovering quite nicely, and, and he's upset because it wasn't just us two walking this morning. <laughs> Girl trouble, I see. I'm guessing you're feeling pushed away from Jeremy Marcel? Mm. Not even. If he wants to spend his time feeling guilty for not helping her when she got hurt, then he could continue giving her pity. He's only doing it out of guilt anyways. <sighs> I'm not doing it out of guilt. Dude, that's low for anyone to do that to anyone. Do you not genuinely care for our friend and classmate? No, I don't. She's not my friend. She's your friend. Susan is just a classmate to me, not someone who gets my sympathy. 
Maybe if she wasn't stupid and walking home, she'd be here. Enough, boys. Look, Marcel, what you said was uncalled for. Susan's a good person and one of your classmates. Don't be so disrespectful. You and I will have a talk after school, young man. Hmm. <laughs> Not the first time I had a talk with a teacher over my behavior or bluntness. I will see you in detention more likely, Mr. Peterson. Then maybe suspension for talking back to a teacher and acting like a smug jerk to your friend and classmate. I'll be contacting the principal and parents, Mr. Marcel. Hope you're happy, Jeremy. Dude, I didn't do anything. It was your big mouth and what you said that led you into trouble. I warned you over the years it would backfire on you. None of this would have happened if you didn't let that weird girl come between us. All because you want to look like the hero. You can't save everyone, and when that happens, you'll get a lovely wake-up call, and I won't be there to pick you up. Hmm. No, dude, it's your jealousy. You need to chill on that. I've dealt with it since we became friends, but I'm not anymore. <sighs> Here's your referral, and Marcel... The principal expects to see you in his office after class to discuss your attitude and punishment. Huh? This is ridiculous! I was only being truthful, nothing more! There's a time and a place for such things, and this wasn't one of those times. I'll send you home with homework, and I expect it to be done by the time you return. <sighs> this is stupid! I shouldn't be punished for speaking my mind! <sighs> Regardless of that, you need to stop acting out, period. If you still keep acting up, you can leave my class immediately. <sighs> Fine! Marcel... Our friendship is over! Well, at least he told me he couldn't come visit. Looks like another day talking to housekeeping staff again. Susan! Marcel, what are you doing here? I was told by Jeremy that you basically hated me pretty much. Nonsense! I do like you. I just was mad at him is all. It was between me and him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came to visit me, Marcel. <laughs> I know we hardly know each other, so this is a good bonding moment. If you say so, Susan. Mind if I ask you something? Huh? Sure, go ahead, Marcel. Ow! Ouch! What is your deal with Jeremy? What do you plan to get out of him, huh? Hmm. <laughs> You're hurting me! I don't care! Answer my questions! I... I want nothing from Jeremy. I just want to be his friend. I don't see anything wrong with that. Why do you care so much? Because of you, I lost my best friend of many years. All because he defends your honor while I know the truth. You want to use him as a shield from your bullies. Ugh. No, you have it all wrong, Marcel. I know girls like you play victim and do it to grab the first one who shows you pity. I won't let you corrupt my friend. Stay away from Jeremy. <gasps> Understand me? <gasps> okay, okay, fine. Just don't hurt me, please. Okay? I'm glad you understand, Susan, and trust me. If you speak to him, I will know. <sighs> How? Because I am the one who shot you. I am the villain you saw on the news. I am. Distorted redemption. And if you tell Jeremy, you won't make it to graduation this year, Susan. I won't tell anyone, I swear. Just please, don't hurt me anymore. Good girl. And remember, I'll be lurking and watching. I will know if you tell anyone. <laughs> Remember, Susan, stay away from Jeremy if you value your life.
Uh, why would she tell me to stay away from her? I'd go see her, but it's late. Something smells fishy, kid. I don't like this feeling I'm getting. I agree, but for now, we have a job to do for the night, and it seems we have another criminal causing mischief in my town. <sighs> Ugh, don't let your emotions get the better of you. You'll lose sight of the real reason you're here for this. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me, but alright, let's suit up. The hospital! Well, well. Look who finally joined the party. Been wondering if you were gonna show up, kid. Leave this place, Distorted. There's nothing here for you. Most of these people here are already fighting for their lives. You don't need to interfere with it. No, really. Well, honestly, I beg to differ. Cause you see, I have unfinished business here, Karmic, involving one of the patients. I doubt there is anyone here for you to finish off, Distorted. None of them even know you exist. <laughs> she knows I exist. You see, Karmic, she is my unfinished job. I never got around to finding her. But thanks to you, I did. You let her go this minute, Distorted. She's already injured enough if you haven't noticed. I don't think you're in the position to make demands here, hero. I have the hostage, and you don't. <laughs> please, please let me go. Please let me go. I just want to graduate school and leave this place. Shut up. I make the requests here, not you. Stay quiet. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I said be quiet! Hey! You're fighting with me, not her! Let her go and fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Or are you too chicken? Oh, alright. I'll fight you. If you can catch me before she hits the ground, hero. Don't worry, young lady. I'm coming! Please, dear God, don't let me die! I got you! You're okay, miss. I... I caught you before you hit the gr ground. You can open your eyes. Oh my god, are you okay? Don't worry about me. Are you alright is the real question. Yes, I'm alright. Hurting, but alright. <sighs> That's good to hear. Let's get you back inside your room. Yeah, I need the rest. It's been one long day for me. I'll carry you into your room. Just hold on tightly so you don't get hurt. We have to go through the window. Okay. It's already open. That guy had opened it before dragging me to the rooftop and holding me hostage. <laughs> Good enough for me. What's your name, by the way? I'm Susan. What about you? I am Karmic Punishment. I'm your friendly neighborhood distributor of well-deserved karma. Well, it's good to know I saved my good karma for a time like this, huh? 